hello everyone welcome back to my channel crypto passive in today's video i will take a look at the um question or I'll, i will take a look at answering the question in everyone's mind and um which is is it actually still worth joining the helium network is it worth investing your hard-earned cash in buying a miner that's the question i will try to answer today before we jump in if you find any value in this educational video all I ask for is for you to click on the like button and if you already have not subscribed to my channel please smash on the subscribe button right with all of that out of the way let's jump right into the helium network video right before answering the question there's something else we need to be aware of um, and that is it currently takes about 20 weeks for helium miners to be shipped out to you or to be delivered if you indeed decide to get one bear in mind there is an exponential growth in the number of miners being added to the network every month which is suitable for the helium network but might affect the number of HNT tokens you mine per month so by the time you get your miner delivered there could be another exponential growth of 20,000 25,000 miners added to the network and um, you know it could, there could be um, about 200k miners 20 weeks from now on the network so that's something else um, that you need to keep in mind if you do decide to go ahead and order a miner. Now to answer the question, is it still worth getting getting a miner? Let's take a quick look at the HNT halving coming into um, effect on August the 1st. So we go down from 60,000 or actually 60 million um, HNT tokens available per year down to 30 million per year and to um, give that a monthly value that's about 2.5 million HNT token available to be split or to be mined or earned amongst all the um, hotspots or miners out there so put simply 2.5 million available to the total number of miners out there I believe we are currently sitting at about 84,000 miners out there so now if you haven't seen my video about the HNT networks and uh, how the tokens are distributed i'll leave a link right above so i think um i recommend you i recommend you check it out um we currently have about eighty four thousand miners but come first of august we'll have about um 2.5 million hnt available per month to be split up amongst all those um miners so we do a rough um calculation to look at the average number of tokens available per month but in some you know quick math so let's just say come August the 1st, and again, this is just a rough estimate, but there is an exponential growth of the number of miners added every day. Let's say you have 120,000 miners and um, you've got 2.5 million HNT token available per month. On average, that um, equates to about 20.8 HNT per month per miner. So let's just say 21 HNT. Um, tokens available per minus per month and um hnt price is um currently sitting at 12 dollars uh but again just to um use this i'll probably say let's say hnt token is sitting at sitting at 10 dollars and um so 21 hnt token times 10 is about um 210 dollars per month for you to actually um mine a month from um you know just looking at the average you know you've got about 210 uh, dollars worth of hnt talking to mine per month um now let's take a look at whether it's still worth getting a miner uh, right so now to check if it's still worth getting a miner go onto the helium explorer explorer size and um, look for miners in your local area or miners that are local to you and see how much they're making per month uh, check on the antenna dbi check on the elevation as this area is actually local to you and um and remember the halving comes in august august you should be able to get an, a rough estimate as to how much your helium miner could um, potentially um be making per month and um so if you're if the mine in your local area right now is making I don't know 50 HNT every month divide that by two because there's gonna be halving so that's you know brings it down to about 25 HNTs per 
per month and um, remember this isn't exact science it's just uh, a rough estimate but it should give you understanding as to how much you could potentially be making after the halving and it should actually give you a certain degree of confidence to know if the um, if it's still worth it or not and um, let's just take a quick look at some miners here so we'll just um, have a look at this miners uh, here so if we take a look at this miner uh, let's just have a look at this narrow Trius Dragonfly or whatever it's called click on that uh, so in the last 30 days it's made about 84.3 it's earned about 84.3 HNTs in the last 30 days and um, you have a look at the um, the antenna strength is that's a 5.8 dBi and elevation is 8 meters so it isn't that high but it's got a good um, enough um, antenna strength so 5.8 it's not too bad so that has made about 84 H and T's divide that by two, and that should give you a rough estimate as to how much you could potentially be making after getting the helium. Uh, let's take a look at another one. So that's that's another one, the 194. So in the last 30 days, this helium is made about 194 H and T's, or it's mined about 194 H and T's. So again, divide that by two, and it just gives you a rough estimate. Again, the critical thing about this is to make sure these heliums sorry these miners are actually local to you because if you know your area if you know the elevation of your area and um compare that to you know your building and you live in the second floor a third floor flat or you live in a house so if we have a look at this other miner here uh so what have we got there oh wow again it's a 5.8 dbi antenna so it's not too bad but you know look at the elevation jet 12 meters so you can see this particular mine is mine actually has a much more further reach. So if you um, if you was to um, do this for some few miners in your area, you know your area, you know what height, you know um, if there are tall buildings in your area that could potentially block the antenna. But if these miners in your area are actually earning this much, 134 a month, if you have that again, let's say about um, over 60, 65 H and T's. Um, per month after the halving again so these are the things you could simply just do oh yeah that's relayed actually so again 5.8 but 25 meters so these are the kind of things you could actually do to help in helping you determine if it's still worth it or not in getting a miner so that's what i'm going to be doing at least that's what i'm going to be doing and um to understand if it's still worth it for me i ordered my miners back in april so um hopefully i'll get at least one of the three i ordered i ordered two um, bobcats I uh, ordered um, one bobcat um, oh sorry two bobcats five days between I uh, ordered a synchro beast as well but hopefully I'll be um, I'll be getting one before the end of um, this month or at, at least before the end of um, next week and um, but this is what I did and this is what I'm doing to try to determine if it's um, if try to determine how much I'm gonna be earning uh, in a um, single month if you um find any value in this educational video because i'm not a financial advisor all i ask is for you to click on the like button and if you already have not subscribed to my channel please um click on the subscribe button but anyway thank you for watching and um have a good day